Welcome to the National Zoo and Aquarium Live Keeper Talks. My name is Georgia and I'm a primate keeper here at the National Zoo. We are here in our common marmoset enclosure. In this enclosure we have four marmosets. This is Diego Jr. He's the youngest in here. This is Mum Louise. Over here is Santiago. He's the second youngest male. And up here is Alejandro. He is the dominant male and the oldest male in the enclosure. Now these guys, um, as I said, are a family of four. Um, in the wild, they're found in smallish family groups. Um, family groups generally consist of a dominant pair and they'll do all the breeding. Occasionally there'll be additional females who will do some breeding as well. Um, but the dominant pair is in charge. So it's not males that are dominant, it's not females. That dominant pair takes charge and is the boss of everyone. Now, here at the zoo, we've bred multiple females and males. Um, Louise here has had um, a few sets of triplets, which is a little bit uncommon for some primate species. Um, these guys mostly have twins, but can have single births or up to three. Um, some of her offspring have now gone off to other zoos to participate in their own breeding programs. And now we just have this nice small family group. Now we've got some goodies for them in this bucket here. Just one of their absolute favourite foods in the world, acacia gum. So it's in this little block here. Um, it's a sap mixture that we make up. Um, I'm going to go put it out in the trees over here so we can watch them forage. It's a little bit crazy over this food. Um, as I said, it's one of their favourite. She's in charge of everyone. She will often push the others <laughs> off the off the treats. But once they get one each, they should settle into it. They be pretty happy. Marmosets are found in the northeastern parts of Brazil. Um, unfortunately, their numbers are decreasing. Uh, luckily for us, populations are still quite large in the wild, um, but the numbers are decreasing, unfortunately, mostly due to habitat loss. Um, they are hunted for the illegal pet trade um, and occasionally used for local meat sources as well. Um, common marmosets are part of a family of primates called calotrichids. Now, this family um, includes tamarins and marmosets, a few different species of each. Um, and these primates spend most of their lives in the trees. They're classed as arboreal. Now, arboreal species spend most of the time in the trees. These guys, <laughs> mum pushing everyone off the treats. These guys, um, almost their entire lives are spent up in the trees, very rarely coming to the ground um, to forage around. Um, the sap that they're eating now in the wild makes up about 70% of their diet. So it's, they're basically designed to eat majority of this plant material, the sap and gum that comes from the different tree species found in Brazil. They also eat lots of insects and some fruits and vegetables. Here at the zoo, majority of their diet is made up of fruits and vegetables, but we do, we do give them different supplements and vitamins just to make up those minerals that they would be getting in the wild. And as you can see, they've all settled into their acacia gum blocks. Now marmosets, because the majority of their diet is made up of this sap, they need to be, um, they need to be designed to get this food out of the trees easily. Now their tooth structure, their lower incisors are actually designed like a chisel. So they're very close together and they actually jut out a little bit from their jaw. Now these chisel like teeth, they use to gouge holes in the trees, just like what we've put the acacia gum in here. Once they gouge those holes in the trees throughout the day, the sap will naturally just flow out of the trees and they'll just come back past. And as you can see, they'll lick it out. Nice and, nice and calm now. <laughs> we do, as I said, we do give them lots of insects as well. So one of their favorite, next favorite foods from the occasion. Pretty special and is also He's one of our red rumped agouti or Brazilian agouti. Now these guys are a large rodent species, one of the largest in the world, like the capybara do. I've got some hard-shelled nuts for them here. This is also one of their favourite foods. Now the hard-shelled nuts are a um, really important part of the agouti's diet. Because they're rodents, they have very sharp teeth and their teeth grow continually throughout their lifetime. So we need to give them lots of foods like hard-shelled nuts and lots of branches with hard bark on it so they can grind their teeth down by chewing on the nuts. Now, agouti are a really important species for the forest in South America. And the reason for that is they actually vary to find later 
but they also often forget about the nuts. If they forget about the nuts, they'll eventually grow into trees and repopulate the forest with different kinds of trees. They do eat a large variety of foods as well as the nuts and seeds. We give them lots of vegetables, lots of fruits, nice hard raw veggies so they can wear those teeth down as well as the branches that I mentioned before. <laughs> now, when we first introduced the agouti to this enclosure, the marmosets were a little bit unsure uh, their new neighbors. It didn't take them too long before they got used to having some new friends in their enclosure. Um, and not too long after that, they started to steal from the agouti food. <laughs> the marmosets in here are very, very, very comfortable going to the ground, especially when the agouti have nice big pieces of food that maybe they won't have themselves. You can hear them crunching away on those nuts. Enjoying their acacia gum. Right. Thank you very much for joining us again for another live keeper talk. We really hope you're staying safe and we can't wait to see you back at the zoo soon.